The chairman of the Hyderabad-based defense public sector firm Maidani Group has said that the company has begun supplying the titanium alloy material needed to make the airframe for the AMCA. He also said that the needed titanium alloy material have been developed indigenously by the company, and a total of five slabs have been supplied so far, and another seven slabs will be supplied in due course for manufacturing the airframe. The plan is to build a total of 120 AMCA stealth fighters, and the Indian Air Force stands firmly behind the AMCA program, that is scheduled to make its first flight by 2025, and it should be operationally available to the Air Force by 2032. The Indian Army will start the user trials of the Swati Mark II weapon locating radar by the end of this month that has been customized for mountainous region. It features 3 DC band phased array multifunction radar, and has a detection range of 30 km for 105 mm and larger caliber artillery ammunition and a range of 40 km for rockets. The Mark II version weighs only 18 ton, and this lightweight version is based on a 6x6 vehicle and built with composite and lighter materials. Bharat Electronics has also completed the delivery of four units of the Swati Mark I radar to the Armenian Army. After the completion of its ongoing sea trials in the next few months, INS Vikrant will be cleared to start the flight deck certification trial with MiG-29K fighter jets, that will carry out multiple launches and recovery over a week by mid of 2022. To certify the flight deck of the new aircraft carrier, it is required to complete over 100 days and 30 night launches and recovery over a short span of days, that includes multiple launches of back-to-back deck-based fighter jets, and also recover them minutes apart. The Indian Navy is collaborating with the US Navy to carry out flight deck certification and carrier air traffic control center certification of the INS Vikrant. The chairman of Bharat Dynamics Limited has said that the company has signed a memorandum of understanding with UP Expressways Industrial Development Authority for establishing a new unit in the UP Defence Corridor. Bharat Dynamics Limited will acquire 215 acres of land under a lease agreement for an initial period of 30 years, and this new facility will be operational by 2023 and will be used to manufacture a propulsion system for various types of missiles. The Minister of State for Defence has said that India had exported military hardware and systems worth 38,500 crore rupees in the last seven years, that includes armoured protection vehicles, Swati weapons locating radar, lightweight torpedo and fire control systems. He also said, that currently exports are being made to about 75 countries, and names of the countries cannot be divulged due to strategic reasons. Mauritius has denied a Qatari media report that it has allowed India to build a military base on the Agaliga island, and Mauritius government officials have said that no such agreement exists between the two countries for the creation of a military base. The work was underway on two projects, under which a 3-kilometer airstrip and a jetty were built, but they would not be used for military purposes. The framing of the general staff qualitative requirement requires a revolution, that often leads to wild goose chase, when they are poorly drafted and done in such a way that it favors only one particular company or its product. Indian Army's rifle procurement has become a target of joke among international and domestic manufacturers, due to technical specifications and requirements that are simply difficult to be met by any rifle. Poor framing of general staff qualitative requirement also leads to multiple revisions and multiple trials and negotiation rounds, only to be cancelled and refloated again in another few months.